So this is your Google Classroom. When you first go into your Google Classroom, it will take you straight to the stream. In the stream, you have a banner here that has the title of your class, your teacher's name, and then your Google Meet link, which you will use anytime you need to join a Google Meet. Down below, you'll see any upcoming work that's due. Notice it says, woohoo, no work due. You can share something with your class from here. You're able to send a comment to your entire class, add an announcement. Um, you're also able to add anything from your drive, a link, a file, or a YouTube video. Please know that this should be used responsibly. Your teacher can take off this option and not allow anybody to post if it is not used responsibly. Down below, you will find any announcements that your teacher may have posted. Always check your announcements first when you first log into your Google Classroom. All right, from here, you will navigate over to Classwork to go to your assignments. Your teacher might have some sections here. You'll notice my section says questions, and here is the question of the day. How are you feeling today? And this one you can answer straight from here. So you might have your teacher pose some questions. And you can just simply answer it and turn it in. And then you can see how everybody answered if your teacher made that available. You're also, you might also see some material. So notice the icon. This one has a little question mark on it because it's a question. This one has what looks like a book with a bookmark because this is just material. It's not anything you need to turn in. It's maybe something that your teacher wants to, you to reference. So in this case, I have attached this, the Wayside book in PDF. Just in case, maybe this is something that I want you to read or something that I want you to reference. So if you click on it, it'll open up in a new tab. Oh, actually, this one opens up right directly from here. And I can scroll through it and read my book. And that's my material. And then finally, I have my assignments down below. And notice if it's grayed out, it's been turned in. If it's blue, it's still pending. And this one says it's due July 3rd. So if I click on my assignment, I need to click on view assignment right here to actually go to my assignment page. From my assignment page, I'm able to add a class comment. I'm able to add a private comment for my teacher. I can click on my attachment here. Notice it'll open up the attachment, Google Doc Practice, and I can start on my assignment. Enter your first and last name, student name here. Insert a picture of a dog, and then you can insert a picture of a dog. But let's just say that I'm not ready to turn this in yet. I'll continue to work on it tomorrow. That's okay. You don't need to save anything. You just need to press this little X on the tab to exit out, and it has been saved for you. Once you're ready to return um, to that assignment, you can just click on here, and you'll see that it has your information saved on here. Okay, from this page, you are also able to add anything additional that you would like to include with your assignment. So, if you would like to add a brand new Google slide, you can click here on slides and start a new slide. Notice that it's creating a new slide for me. I can create my slide however I want. And I can, again, exit out and continue working on it later. If I don't like the way the slide came out, I can simply press the X and delete it. Once I'm ready to turn in my work and I have completed both assignments, I can click Turn In. If I'm not ready to turn it in, I can just leave it the way it is and come back to it another day. So now to return to my class, I will click on Google Classroom up at the top. Finally we have the people tab. And from here, you are able to email your teacher. Just know that this email will go to your teacher's private email. And if she responds, you will not receive it in Google Classroom. You would have to check your email through Clever. And there will be a separate video on how you can log into your student email from Clever. 
and that's it. That is a quick tour of your Google Classroom.